Let's unbox this bad boy. It's as simple as that. Man, I wish I had this as a kid. Here's a riddle. I am not a creature from the sea, but don't let my name mislead thee. In children's minds, I sow a seed of coding, creativity, and the tech they need. Blocks of code are my command. In a young coder's guiding hand, what am I that moves with no toes and teaches kids what a programmer knows? Well, the answer to that riddle is the subject of today's video, the whales bot. Weird name, but hopefully a pretty cool AI robot. Now, I say hopefully because I haven't actually opened it up yet. It's just been sitting here on my desk. I wanted to open it up with you. I wanted to unbox it. I wanted to set it up. I wanted to test it. And I wanted to review it right along with you in this video. Now, quick disclaimer before we get started. The WhalesBot company actually sent me this to review. However, they told me to review it however I want to, which in my opinion is pretty risky. But that's the only way that I'll do reviews is if I can just kind of say my own opinion on them. So let's go and unbox this bad boy. Let's unbox this bad boy. So first impressions, it comes in a really cool, like hard plastic carrying case, which I think is really unique. I haven't seen that with any other AI robots that I've gotten. So we're just going to spin this boy around, flip these open, and let's see what's inside. Ooh. When you first open it up, you're gonna see this little plastic piece. It is a part separator, I'm assuming, so that you pieces don't get mixed together because we're gonna have to build this robot ourselves. So let's put that to the side. And then we've got all of these plastic bags. A couple things that look like motors, I guess. And then we've also got these little connector pieces. Show me what you got. We've got some wheels, so he's gonna be able to move. We got a ton of screws. Oh, this is pretty cool. It actually comes with some tools so you don't have to have your own. That's really cool. Show us what you got. These look like some more pieces that we can use maybe for slides or maybe just to connect the robot together. We'll see here in a second. Here's gonna be your power cord. Put all this to the side. We've got whatever these two things are. I have no idea. We'll figure out later in the video. Lastly, we've got this little box, which has got the cool little whales bot brand on it. I'm gonna open that up. Wow, more bags. Looks like it's getting more complicated by the second, but it looks like there's a lot of choices. All right, we've got like a lot of little pieces. We've got microchip board. Then at the very bottom of the box, we've got the whales bot W40 parts list. And I think this comes with so many parts because it's aimed at teenagers and older, like adults, like myself. Shoot. Let's get to building. I like what you got. Good job. So this robot can actually be built into a ton of different things and the possibilities are practically endless. However, for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna do one project because otherwise if I did every project that they offer or beyond, we would be here for a Google plexian amount of years. First things first though, I am going to download the WhalesBot app. <laughs> First, we gotta build and set this bad boy up. So you can go to their website where you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll hit resources and then right underneath that you'll see downloads. Now here you'll be able to download the WhalesBot app and all of the needed tutorials to go along with the WhalesBot. So I've downloaded the WhalesBot app, as well as all of the needed tutorials for the WhalesBot W40, which is the model that I have. And after browsing the different projects that you can build, like I said earlier, I am going to pick one project, and I think I'm gonna pick the fan build, which is a robot that is basically a fan for your desk or for wherever, because it gets really hot here in my little studio, so I am going to go with the fan build. It also just seems like a good intro to this product. All right, let's build this robotic fan. Now, I chose to speed up the actual build process here because it walks you step by step on how to do this in the downloadable tutorial guide that you can get off their website. But I wanted to get right into showing you how to code this thing, but I also still wanted to show you some of the process too. So here you go. 10 
the snack out. got our fan built, now it's time to code it. So we're gonna head over to my coding workbench to go get that done. All right, so let's get to coding. So we've got it plugged in right here. We've got our fan build and Arduino board right here. Now we're gonna plug this into the M1 slot and then I'm gonna bring up a computer screen over on the left of the screen so you can see what I'm doing coding wise. So first up, I'm gonna open up the Wobot Block Studio program, which you can find a download for in the description below. And if you download the correct version of Wobot Block Studio, it'll look like this. Next up, we're gonna connect this USB from our fan build to our computer, where you should hear your computer recognize something has been plugged in by doing the whole Windows boop did it boop. Next, you'll wanna click the button that says link in the bottom right. Once a dialog box appears, click the connect button. And once that's done, you'll click the go to editor button. Now let's code. This is the greatest rush, got access. The feeling never gets old. You'll notice this is all drag and drop conditional coding, which is a great introduction into more traditional kinds of programming. So for this fan, I'll go over and up to the events tab and simply drag over the when Wobot started event trigger. Then I'll go down and over to the motion tab and drag over this set encoder motor ID trigger. Now our program knows what to do, so we just need to download it to our fan build by clicking download. This will take a few seconds. Once downloaded, we'll come back over here to our fan and simply click the run button on the Arduino board and voila, we got a working fan for my studio. What you just saw is the simplest build and coding that you can do with the WhalesBot, but I wanted to do something pretty easy with this video because I didn't want it to be a million years long. Just so you can see, that is just the beginning of what you can do with this robot. Even with just the fan itself, I could have built on lines of code to make it go faster and at different rates. I mean, it's almost endless just with the fan of what you can do. And then when you open up the entire document, which I will put in the description below, you can literally build hundreds of different little things with just this Arduino board and, you know, all of these parts. And then if you get other models on the website, you can build full robots and all sorts of things. But for now, let's just stick with the fan. My overall impression is pretty positive for this type of robot. See, I've always loved building things and I think something like the WhalesBot, where you have what some might call guided coding is a plus for someone like me who knows a little bit about Python and HTML and JavaScript and some other programming languages, but not really enough to be messing around with Arduino boards on my own. So the fact that WhalesBot makes it pretty easy to code is a pretty cool thing. However. I will say, when I first got this robot, it took me forever, forever to figure out how to use it. And it almost made me want to make this video even more just to show you how to do it. And so that you don't have to fall into all the pitfalls that I have. Now in the WhalesBot tutorial, it does show you and guide you briefly on how to make it through this process. I'll also say it was pretty cool to play around with the Wobot language. It's kind of easier than obviously a lot of other coding programs. But if you want to get into the nitty gritty of coding, there's also the coding tab inside of the program that you can go to and you can code all you want. Having said all of that, is this robot right for you? Well, let's break it down. You're gonna like this robot if you like robot customization. You're also going to love this robot if you want an introductory lesson into robot languaging and just general robot programming. This is an amazing stepping stone to getting to bigger robots and crazier inventions. Lastly, if you're an educator or a parent, I think this is an amazing product to give your kids so that they can troubleshoot and figure out how you know are these Arduino boards work and what does what. I think this is an amazing way to teach your kid how to program and create robots because we all know AI and robots are the future. Can humans and robots get along? I think people will become very close to their artificial intelligence, using them to expand the knowledge of their own minds.
All right, so you're not gonna like this robot if you want a robot that is ready to go right out of the box, like some of the other robots that I've done on my channel. And if that's more your speed, I've got plenty of other videos on robots like that. But there is definitely a large DIY component to the WhalesBot, and if you enjoy programming or you wanna learn programming and you wanna learn kind of how Arduino boards work and things of that nature, then you're probably gonna like the WhalesBot. There's a lot of troubleshooting to it. Uh, like I said, I had a lot of trouble trying to get it to work at first and then once I figured it out there was kind of that eureka moment that felt really really good and I think that comes along with when you're building things and you're trying to get them to work and well this robot really gives you that sensation. So those are really my big pros and cons for the WhalesBot. I chose the WhalesBot because it's built for 12 and over people like me. I'm obviously 12 or over. I'm waiting old man. But as previously mentioned as well, there are a ton of other robots on the WhalesBot site that are more age appropriate for younger people. And there's even ones that are even more advanced and more robots coming from what I've heard from WhalesBot companies themselves. And if you enjoyed this video and this build and my style of creating videos, please consider supporting my channel. I've got a link down in the description below where you can buy a WhalesBot kit, any WhalesBot kit that you want. It's got a kickback link so that it helps me out as a creator from the company WhalesBot since they sent this to me. Of course, like I said, if this isn't your speed, you want something right out of the box, don't get this. But if it is, consider helping this small YouTuber by purchasing one of these bad boys from the link in the description below. All of the proceeds that I get from this will just go back into my video editing to create more videos for you guys so that I can show you more AI robots and more adventures and more skating and all the stuff that I do on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I showed you any value, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. I'm Eric J. Coons, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.